Good afternoon, paint pouring community, or if you're new and just joining us, welcome. This is Jilly Koo from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm going to do a, um, a double dip. So these are 40 by 50 centimetre canvases. So I'm actually going to dip directly canvas to canvas. So I usually dip on smaller ones. Um, I have done the dip on a big one before and it turned out beautiful. So I'm kind of hoping for the same results. Let's get straight on with this because I uh, yeah, just want to get into it. So I'm going to pour the white all the way around the edges so as when I squidge the sides out the sides will be covered hopefully in the white. I am going to do my um, chevron patterns in here. So the chevrons are the big V's so it's not so important with the white I don't suppose but I, I just get the gorgeous um, effects with the chevron patterns every time and um, <clears throat> get the gorgeous effects with the chevron patterns and every one is different every, every painting is different even though you might kind of do the same technique so I'm just gonna use my fingers because I love getting my paint uh, my fingers in the paint is my my intricate chevrony patterns <laughs> now the thing I did learn about doing the dips with I haven't ever done a dip and it not work out I d uh, except for the other week when I did a dip and the paint was really thin and I dipped on the uh, bubble wrap and it just come out a big mess I mean Thankfully in the end it turned out beautiful, but I had to work it to get it to turn out beautiful. But what I learned was you just can't dip if your paints are too thin. And I'm just hoping that these, because this is looking a little bit thin, but because they were made up for a previous pour, um, so I'm just hoping that they're not too thin. These, the chevrons always seem to yeah, give a give a really nice effect. Oops, 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 oops.
probably about it. I'm just gonna, the indigo or navy, which is phalo blue, I'm just gonna easy whizzy all over it. Just giving it a little That does look like, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, let's do this, people, let's do this. So I'll clean my hands off. No, let's hope magic happens. There you go, so it's basically just, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Is just gently pressing. I have put it on push pins, so I am going to have that movement where while I'm pushing down, it's going to sort of bend with it. So there might be a chance that there's some part of this second canvas that's not coated. But I mean, some people use cards and all sorts to uh, flatten it out or spread it out. I just use my hands, I just find that that's equally as good because if you do get any blank spaces on the canvas when you turn it over, then that's a perfect opportunity to do some balloon work on it. Balloon kissing, rolling, sliding, whatever you choose, just. Ooh, it's burping out color, <laughs> okay. I won't worry about the sides this stage. What I'm going to do now, which I haven't tried with a big canvas, is give it a flip. Do transfer the colour over onto the other one. Now, so that hopefully then will give you the colour on both, you know, equally on both sides. So I'm just hoping that I'm not giving it a big room to um, go crazy and. Um, Come on, please be a stunner, stunner, stunner. Okay, I think that, I think that may do. I just love it when these turn out, you turn it over and they're so bright and vibrant. But if you followed my journey, you'll know that I've turned them over and it's, oh my goodness, a big dog's breakfast. I'm thinking I'll go the other side of my table to pull it towards me on oh, no, a too far my table's too wide I'm any short person I can't I haven't got the okay I've got to take it away from me oh geez Louise that's quite a big mess but I'm gonna work with that I'll show you the other one oh my giddy eye that is a flipping it's literally a flipping. Oh, stunner! Wait a second. Wait a second. Be patient. Look at that. Oh, I've got my hand under there. I'm going to work with it. I have to put it back so I don't wreck it. I could definitely put something else on that. Love this. Love this. That is too much paint left in there. So in the centre. And if I leave too much paint, too thick, it will crack. So, I will come back. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. It really is. Oh, I'll still get excited with these dips when they turn out like that. I just grab a piece of old puppy pee pad to wipe my balloon on. I'm gonna get rid of some of that thickness on this one maybe I'll try dip in well I'll use the balloon to push in and then dip in areas that I can see is not as much paint but look at that oh my goodness it's beautiful beautiful yeah just the areas that have got that bit of chunkiness left the paint's thick in the area then you need to do something to take some of it away just because it will 
or it, it could end up cracking oh this round here oh, it's just gorgeous and i don't really want to do anything else with that it's a few bold spots so obviously i'm better to collect some paint from an area there's a bold spot but look at that how stunning i think it is anyway and that's ultimately it's only you it's your art your rules that's got to worry about how pleased or, or not pleased you are with it and i am absolutely loving that it's just got some interesting little it's got so much interest coming up in it just faces bird webbing it is gorgeous really is gorgeous i'm <laughs> oh please give this a go i have an acrylic pouring group an australian acrylic pouring group on facebook so if you give this a go please um join my australian acrylic pouring group and i will definitely get to have a look at your work there that is gorgeous it is so gorgeous and yet the other one looks completely different but it is stunning it literally is stunning i will hold it up for you just let me give it one little balloon kiss oh it doesn't actually need anything this one the second one because the paint isn't so thick on it but i love leaving that white look at this look at this it is gorgeous i love it i will post photos at the end of this video and please let me know what you think i just think it's stunning and i hope you like it too so if you're going to comment be kind if you haven't got anything nice to say then it's best not to say it so um yeah let me know what you think drop me a line Give me a thumbs up, please. That would be nice. Oh, I am so happy with this. It's so bright and vibrant. This is just what the doctor ordered. Literally is. I'm trying to give you a close-up of this, but my camera's not cooperating. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's you can get results like this. Just follow my directions in the paint mixing. Um, if you've got, you can get the same paints because there's links to them below. Also below is um, a link to my beginners videos that will show you how to mix your paints and what to buy and so on and so forth. So have a look at that too if you are only just a beginner. And oh my goodness just so rewarding so much fun and look what you can give as gifts for christmas birthdays or just because you just because you can gifts to friends and neighbors there you go happy with that happy jen happy jen thank you thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do so i appreciate it and it costs you absolutely nothing so until next time um, bye for now, stay safe and create.